What is up everybody? I'm Chris Walker and this is Music Theory Thursday. Today I'm going to break apart and analyze one of my favorite lap videos. This hit is from Carolina Crown. We're doing one of our hits here in a second. This piece is actually pretty simple. It's divided into two halves. The first part is a basic tuning exercise for the ensemble, while the second part is an epic B-flat minor progression with two big suspensions up in the mellophones. It starts on an F-C. This perfect fifth is the ideal tuning sound for brass. The tubas walk up diatonically in the key of F major. F, G, A, B-flat. The resulting chord here is one of my favorite sounds in music right now, stacks of perfect fifths. The official term for this is quartal quintal harmony, but that's just a fancy way of saying the chord is built out of fourths or fifths. Now fourths and fifths are often paired together because they're kind of like reflections of the same notes. For example, if you take an F and go up a perfect fifth, you get a C. If you take that same F and go down a perfect fourth, you also get a C. In both cases, the notes involved are F and C. Only one C is up and the other is down. Now the sound I'm personally drawn to is when you start unfolding fourths and fifths in either direction. Kind of like this. But let's get back to what the pros were doing. Now the baritones walk up F, G, A, B flat. The mellophones finish off the F major scale, C, D, E, F, with that crunchy half step E against the F in the trumpets. And finally, the trumpets walk up F, G, A, B flat. At this point, we've moved from F up to B flat. We don't know if it's major or minor yet, we just don't have that information, but we've definitely landed on a B flat. These cluster chords here, which a cluster chord is just a collection of notes, they help retune our ear to hear B flat as being the center. Each time we come back to B flat, it's more and more powerful. One last cluster chord with a big crescendo, and then BAM! B flat minor. Now in my opinion, what makes this next section so epic are four basic principles. Number one, simple chord progression that everyone can understand. In this case, it's B flat minor, G flat major, B flat minor. Almost nothing happens, so everyone should get it. Number two, punch conducting, or as I like to call it, punch ducting. Matt Harloff is a pro punch ductor, and it really brings the energy in this clip. Number three, wide voicing at a loud dynamic. We definitely got that. Lastly, number four, dramatic suspensions. That would be that C in the mellophones over the G flat. We call that interval a tritone. Now this tritone is especially dramatic because it's left unresolved and all alone right in the middle of the piece. Not only that, I hear a D flat in there somewhere. It's implied by the G flat major chord for sure, but I don't know if it's actually happening or not. If it is, that makes it even more crunchy having that C, D flat mixture all over the G flat. So all together, it kind of works like this. B flat minor, melody, G flat major, suspension all alone, B flat minor, Rip up to C again, B flat minor.
Well, that's it for today. So check back next week and see what else I got for you.